Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 52 of this Let's Play European of Solis 4. Uh, that's Prussia. The army without state. That one. Yeah, that one. Cool. So in the last episode, we fought a number of um, additional wars. Nationalism has become a thing, so we are basically dropping any pretense of being a decent Holy Roman Emperor, although we are still very much in power and hugely supported by our minions. And we are working at basically creating Germany at this stage. So the requirements for that are as follows. We still need Hamburg, Rostock, München, Nuremberg, Köln, Waltz, Augsburg, Frankfurt. Hamburg, Rostock are both owned by the Hansa, which are now our vassal. And you can see in the last episode we gave them a bunch more territory. Uh, München, still not ours. Nuremberg is not... Köln is not, Faltz is, Ausbrock, I don't even know where that is, and Frankfurt is not. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, we're just going to slowly but surely just gobble up the rest of Germany. What I'm kind of waiting for is for Bohemia to start taking big chunks out of people, and then we'll just attack Bohemia and take big chunks out of them, because it will be cheaper to do it that way. In the meantime, we are hated throughout the HRE, and in fact, Denmark is almost got enough AE. Poland could not care less, France could not care less. Britain either. Not even Milan cares, which is amazing. I'm just going to be eating up. So apparently nationalism just gives no AE. Well, it's minus 50%, I think, so it's pretty good. So this little additional white area, the Hunter, why did we make them into a vassal? Well, in the EU4 multiplayer game, Poland, no, Portugal became a, wow, they took a big hit against Morocco. They became a merchant republic, and they were basically on their own paying for entire world wars and they were making a trade income of something like 1200 ducats a month and they were paying out seven eight hundred ducats a month to other players as subsidies in order to basically see to their own ends it was actually a pretty cool play by portugal there and i was kind of hoping that we could do the same out of the hunter so we give them a load of land we allow them to be huge trading power and they give their money to us however i did not factor into the point that the only thing that vassals actually give you is tax income. So giving them Stralsund, Rostock, Wismar, Holstein was entirely wasted. We should, well, we, we kind of had to give them Stralsund so that they could get Stettin and Dunzik and Memel, because you have to have um, at least sea access to it. Rostock and Wismar, we shouldn't have given them to them at all. Uh, we should have kept those for ourselves. And that's it. However, the fact that they are producing so much trade income is going to mean that they're going to have a stupendous military. So what I'm kind of tempted to do is I might actually make them into a march. And they will have an absolutely insane military strength which can bolster us. In particular, naval, because that is the one area that we do definitely lack. So it will allow the Hunter to be the navy and will be the army. Um... The other th part of being a merchant republic, and this is more to how we play, is that having a merchant republic dominating a trade node increases the production value of every other province in that node. Again, should not have given them Wismar and Rostock. I wonder if there's a way of getting them to give those back. And Holstein. Although we kind of had to give them either Holstein or Lauenberg, and Holstein's worth less, so... We would have to do that in order for them to get Bremen and Hamburg, which I'm happy for them to have, and I'll probably even give them East Frisia when the time comes. Uh, they could basically have any trade nodes. Uh, so yes, production value will be going up. So our own production income will have gone up, though currently we are making a loss. Uh, part of that problem is our own traders are not bringing in trade income yet, which another reason to have a powerful hunter is they can bring more trade into the Lubeck node and of course I get my own slice of that. Another reason not to give these two away. And the other reason is we haven't actually built any production buildings yet. Look at the number of them still available. And the amount of money that they make is gone up significantly considering the amount of trade control they have. I'm not actually seeing many ships on the Hunter's side. So do I have a recent what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a recent autosave, which is before we've given all the land away. I'm not going to give these two, because that was kind of an experimentation. Uh, we're going to do that, 
and then we're just going to play on. So back in a minute. Here we go. We're just two months earlier. We're back in, and we haven't actually given any land to Lubeck, but the peace deal has already been signed, as I've just noticed. So we basically are at the point where we are probably within days of actually, or we may have even have given it on this day, uh, the land to them. Right, we don't do it through that, do we? That's those things changing. We go into here, Lubeck, Grant Province. We were going to give you Stralsund. We were going to give you Danzig. Memel. Holstein. Which is where? There it is. Hamburg. And Bremen. Right? Yes. I got it in Bremen. Where is it? There it is. Right, are there any other trading locations that I'm missing here? Don't just in. And they've already got those trading locations. So, oh, and Riga. Of course, we can give you Riga. Uh, actually, can we? No, because you don't have anything in that area. So you would need to have Goldingen, and then you can have Riga, I think. Yes, pretty sure. Right, so that is that. They are very loyal for giving us a bit of money, but this money is only from taxes. It is not from trade. And their tax income is going to be pretty pitiful. So I'm going to turn them into a march so that they can have a much larger military and they can support us that way because I honestly don't care about the income that they provide. It, it's half a ducat. It's going to be like a ducat at most. Denmark is no longer a valid rival. Okay. So, do 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 do. Designate march. Lubeck will come a march. A march doesn't pay any taxes to the overlord and the overlord cannot annex them. The march also gets the following bonuses. 25% more manpower, 20% more manpower recovery, 30% more land force and naval force, 20% cheaper fort maintenance and 20% extra fort defense. Cool. I think that'll be... That, that's a more Prussian vassal <laughs> than uh, they were previously. I think that will help. And they have sufficient money to raise a really, really big army and more importantly, a really, really big navy. And speaking of navies, we need to get you to go and protect trade. In yeah, Lubeck, it's fine. They should be shifting money around themselves. What ideas does the hunter have? Admin, trade, quantity, religious, quality, espionage. I'd really like you to get maritime. Trade range, trade steering, extra merchant, light ship cost, minus 20%. Provincial Trade Modifier plus 20%. That's a really good one for what I'm doing. So yes, I think that's going to be actually a really good benefit to us. And it should also mean that we are still making a fair chunk of cash out of trade. Cool. And how are they benefiting the trade power? Or goods produced, rather. Plus 20%. Perfect. I would like to give them land in here as well, so they could shift more money out. But there's nowhere where oh, Praha I could give them. Except I can't. It'd have to be another Merchant Republic. I don't think I can start Merchant Republics. Oh, maybe I can. At what point do client states become available? Or are they already? I have a feeling they are already. Um, how do I make them? Client state, Saxon, Republic. Uh, I think that's just a straight Republic, though, not a Merchant Republic. Okay, so it's going to be the, mostly the coastal provinces that they'll be providing extra production in, and that's fine. Right, onwards. Lots more coalition joining. Not surprised, considering we did do some pretty bad things. A new idea. Military, we are still way ahead of time. 
uh, less naval attrition. Awesome. And then the next one is the artillery combat bonus and another 5% discipline. Huzzah. Speaking of military, yeah, we're completely out of that because our country is now spreading to the extent where it becomes really quite expensive to try and maintain high militarism all the time. So we should only really boost it up when we're going to war with someone big. And speaking of going to war with someone big... Oh, that doesn't really show truces, does it? Who can we go to war with? Oh no, saxe -Lammerberg. We need to try and vassalize you. That's the first thing. We're going to annex vassal. Yes. I can stop improving relations with you. I can start improving relations with you, however. Just to make Lubeck like us a little bit more. So there. Liberty desire is very low because I have just given them a whole chunk of land. And they're now bigger than they've ever been. Enable subsidize army. Sends 10% of monthly manpower to your march. No, I don't want to do that. Fortify the march. Builds or upgrades a fort in your march. You pay for the fort. No, I don't want to do that either. They are making a lot of money. Blimey. And that money could all have been mine, although it wouldn't have been nearly as efficient for them, to, uh, for me to get it. We'll just have them raise a big army and, more importantly, the big navy, like I said. Okay, how is the institution spreading? That is the other big question of the day. It is not, really. Oh no, it's 40%, 70%. That's only in the capital, though. 40% in quite a lot of it. And it is going to grow really quickly through Europe. In fact, Milan's already got it. Papal State's already got it. Cool. Milan no longer considers being a rival. Do I have any other available rivals? And if so, whom? As Denmark no longer is. Am I going to have to go back to France? I am. Poland is annoying me. I need to go and slap Poland down. Could even go and do that now. I have enough manpower for it. Salzburg. Forced to give money to Bohemia. Bavaria is left. Württemberg is left. Another innovative idea. Yes, we are ahead of time enough. We should do it. Monthly war exhaustion reduction. That is a really nice one. I'll take it. Right. Merchants landed. Bohemia. Land tech useless. I ignore you, you idiots. My power projection is going a bit low. Could do with attacking someone just for the humiliation. Who's the Netherlands at war with? Although citizens are encouraged to show trust and good faith in their exchanges, the reality is in many nations that are a risk people cannot afford to take. This, however, is not the case in Prussia. I wonder what the minimum corruption is for that to fire, because we do have more than zero. Oh, you guys are taking attrition. That's a mistake. I could actually raise another stack. Or even two. Let's raise, raise another stack. No reason not to. We are way over our naval force limits now. I might get rid of the two heavy ships. That's never going to be competing with anything ever in a million years. Plus they're old. I'll keep the transports just in case. Magdeburg has insulted us. How dare they? Still have four generals. Lubeck's insulted. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're my vassal. Why are you insulting me? You're even loyal. Livonian order will transfer trade to Poland. I could go after the Livonian order. That's true. Get Goldingen, which means that I can give Riga to the Hunter. And at some point I will just outright annex them. I mean, that that's just going to have to be something I do. I have 22 units already. Nice. Um, take Leafland. I really want just Goldingen. Denmark would join and Poland would join. I could just humiliate them both. 
Do I want to take them both on at the same time? Be a pretty fun challenge. Wouldn't really be a challenge. Um, let's sort this by military total force. I have 150,000 with 125,000 manpower. They have 100,000 with 94,000 manpower. And Denmark is not even on this list. 47 with 50,000. Where's Sweden? Sweden on the list? No. Except I can't humiliate Denmark. I only humiliate Poland. Unfortunately, but I could take some land of Denmark. Who are you allied with? Styria. Styria is not one of the two who is voting for me. And we are now losing. Outraged attitude. Yeah, three cities are going to be struggling. I think the uh, the HRE has been as reformed as it's going to get. Um, is there something better I could take from Poland? Who is, of course, allied with Livonian Order, so we could just take the one province that we want from them. In fact, the better option would be to take Gotland from Denmark. Because that controls all of these sea areas. Give that to the Hunter, and then I can give them Riga and wherever else. Stockholm, for example. With quite a lot of ease. Stockholm uh, central traded is not. Neva is. Which is Danish? Or Polish? Polish. No, Danish. I have more reason to go to war with Denmark right now. Yeah, we're going to go toward Denmark. This is going to be a imperialism CB, so we can take some more. Oldenburg would be the only province that we can take with the nationalism idea, uh, CB. Plus, we would be able to shatter some of their trade control. They're the only real rival that the Hansa has here. And they have 115% trade efficiency now. <laughs> Impressive. And the more like native trade control we have over here, the less ships they need to station in this area. Alright, let's move our armies north, because we're going to go and fight Denmark. Which is going to mean that the uh, Hunter's going to need a big navy. Are you guys still building ships? Yes, quite heavily, in fact. Have they got the institution yet? They are tech 24, so are we. They have got 20 galleys. What does Lubeck have, if anything? 14 light ships. I'm not seeing any warships from them. Oh no, what's this? One transport, one light ship. No, Hans is still building up and it's going to take them a while to reach their level. So maybe I should just continue on my conquering spree in Germany. No other Empress Consort is as brave as our Paula. Military tactics and organisation have always been a great interest to her. In addition to her daily sword practice, she spends many hours each day studying the art of war. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Gain a level 3 commandant, or gain military power. I'm going to take the commandant. Or, how much are you? 10,000. Yeah, especially as you're a discipline guy. Haha. <laughs> Marvellous. Can I get any more policies yet? Development cost, land force limit, modifier. Mm. Development cost is usually a nice one, but I haven't really been in a situation where I can spend it. Unfortunately, I think I've got a truce with most of the people here. Except Bohemia. I guess I could go after Bohemia. 
but I want them to go after others. You're not allied with very strong people. No, this war has to be against Denmark, but I need to find a way around their ships. Or I guess 60 odd ships bombarding those 20. Maybe we can do this. Screw it. Leroy! Jenkins. Right, let's go. War time. You go and take Oldenburg. You go and sit there. Let's go and see what we can do about their navies, shall we? I'm just going to attach you to their hunter fleet. The hunter's just the navy, so if you need to do any shipping stuff, the hunter's your person to do it. Oh no, a philosopher died. No! Get me another one. Uh, level 2? Because I don't really want to pay a full amount. Unless, of course, I can get another one from one of these guys. Inquisitor is missionary strength. Theologian is... Something else. I really do wish I told you precisely what that gives you. Diplomat is Diplotech. What is the theologian? I don't remember. Unrest modifier, but you are cheaper. So I'll take you. That'll do. Oh, the hunter's gone for it. They're in. Brave. Chance of new air, minus 25%. Do we have an air? Pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. 3, 4. No, that's a console. 2, 5, 6. Not the best air ever, but could be worse. Oh, that was the airs thing. Right. One of our advisors, Gottfried von Seel, most certainly one of the greatest scholars of our time. His field of expertise in patristics and classical literature has had great influence in the theological debate of our nation. Additional missionaries? No, no. Don't care about missionary strength. So it's admin power prestige. I'll take the admin. We lost 37 ships. Ouch. You better build some more then, Hansa, hadn't you? I'm not going to go and attack that. Can I march around here? No. The only one I would really need to get through would be you. You would allow it. We can attack them from behind. Okay, cool. We're in. <laughs> Simples. Go and deal with them. Hunters on the move as well. 29,000 men. They're such a cool vassal. I love it. Okay, and we can get some new ideas. We can get the innovative and Quality. I think we should get both. My tears are so cheap, it's outrageous. And there we go, we've just completed two more, which allowed us to get another leader without upkeep, which we can do and should do. Except I can't afford it right now. And also policies, more importantly, in fact. 20% more infantry combat. Ability, innovative and quality, that is one of the best ideas around. I'll have it. And plus 5% discipline. My armies are going to be disgusting. Uh, more siege ability. Yeah. We can have one more. I don't think we really need any of them. They do, of course, cost one monarch point. And we have a lot of military ones, but we generate a lot of monarch points, so it's fine. My army is disgusting. Where is it? I want to see it in action. Uh, 
And this is without having spent anything on militarism, by the way. Dennis von Kiao, a drill master par excellence. Dennis von Kiao has turned our army into a clockwork automon automaton. So don't flinch on the battlefield. Plus 10% discipline. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just holding you there for a moment. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. We'll just switch out one of the generals to you. Like that guy. Off you go. Right. They're on a minus three because this is my fort. We have 135% discipline. <laughs> and that's without the 10 discipline. We could get 145% discipline if we had actually invested anything at all into militarism. <laughs> we have 6.5, 3.1 to 4. Oh man. And our infantry. Plus 50% infantry combat ability. So that's they're doing 50% more damage because of their infantry. Plus another 35% damage because of their discipline. It's just disgusting how strong the Prussian army is right now. And I couldn't be happier. Send you up to Olenets. You need a general. Uh, who's this? This is... Bilibek and Solansky. Billabek Slansky, so you can have my cats. Because I can't really see them doing anything to me over here. In fact, you've done your bit. You may as well head over in that direction. And now that we have enough for another general, uh, we have the plus one general thing as well, so we have a minimum, I think, of two to each ability. We can't get to Soroka. Okay. And we have one Vestioland. Marvellous. The Danes do control the seas, but we control the land. And unfortunately, they've left a back door open. For them, not for us. Obviously. We've won the Siege of Neva. That is one of the provinces I want to take from this. Let's go to Viborg. In fact, let's draw up a peace deal right now, just so I remember what on earth it is I want from them. I want Neva. I want Gotland. And I want these three. And that. Minimum. I probably will be taking more. Oh, I can actually take these. That would stop them ever having naval control ever again. It would piss off the world. There's still no large countries. No, that's all HRE. And we'd have a silly amount of aggressive expansion, but we would immediately give some of that to the hunter. In fact, we could flip some of it to the hunter right away. Um, Oldenburg, you are not a trading location. None of this is. Neva, however, is. And we can flip control to the hunter, I think. Sorry, Lubeck. They're the hunter to me. Let's do that deal again. Like so. To Lubeck. There we go. I think Sjelant is as well, but we would actually need to cross the straits to get to that. And I can't see us doing that in any time soon. But that is it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.